I've never been prouder to be associated with the NHS or its staff. Um, I, I've witnessed tremendous, compassionate, skillful, effective care given in the most challenging of circumstances. It makes me a little bit emotional. Really grateful to the staff, but extra grateful to the volunteers who've given tens of thousands of happy, smiling, cheerful hours to our programme. Really, really helped us out. Couldn't have done it without them. Thank you. So basically, how we came to meet each other and be in this cricket club, uh, we got a brief to say that COVID vaccinations were being rolled out locally and as a network and all the practices, did we want to become involved in that? That was it. It was just, yeah, we'll do it. Somehow we'll just make a, set up a clinical setting here in the cricket club. The volunteers said that they would, you know, from the cricket club, said that they would do everything to help us. And so we just decided to go with it. We couldn't have done it without them, basically. We couldn't have done the programme without the cricket club volunteers. They manned the car park 12 hours a day for six months. And, you know, that bit of it we didn't have to worry about at all. Thanks to them, we couldn't have done it without them. It was a, a bit of an emotional time. <laughs> Yeah, once a year. Staff were scared. Yeah. Everyone um, was. Patients, you know, they were looking for you to give them some sort of hope that there was going to be an end to it. Yeah. And we didn't have any answers. You know, I've never worked through an international pandemic before. I've never managed teams mm. that are scared, who are shielding, you know, and patients are trusting you. That's the trust in you to give them some, some way out. And we couldn't. We couldn't do that if the cricket club hadn't have offered no. to open up for us and let us do it. When we were asked as a club to support with the vaccination rollout, it was a very, very easy decision. It was, yes, how can we help? We felt that we had a, a real sense of duty as a club to support our local community. I, I don't think you realise that over the six months, 25,000 people through here. It does take a lot of volunteers to make sure it runs smoothly and that's and helping out the NHS staff is fantastic because we all got on so well. Um, you feel really proud to do it. It's, uh, yeah, it's strange really. I don't think that if we can save so many thousand people by helping out getting injections for this COVID thing, it's just, it's just amazing. I'm just so thankful that we had the opportunity. We came back a bit uh, to meet the volunteers, didn't we? We presented them with a plaque and a bench, so hopefully in years to come, our uh, children remember, and grandchildren yeah. will remember that, you know, what a pivotal part in the vaccination programme this building and all its members were. Everyone's got their own story of what's happened over the past couple of years with COVID-19. And it might be an emotive one, it might seem like a simple, straightforward one, but there's countless stories out there and examples of people going above and beyond to help our population and patients get through this. So whether we look at one or hundreds, we need to make sure that we're saying thank you to those staff, volunteers and everyone else that was involved. So thank you. <laughs>